forage sorghums are plants that are grown here in the southwest part of the United States very often uh, for hay crops uh, because they, they produce a large tonnage per acre e each year. Forage sorghums are uh, plants that we have some concerns about during the, the hot parts of July and August in terms of if they become stressed then they can accumulate high levels of the toxin nitrate and that of course can be deadly to cattle. Through the years we've learned a lot about uh, nitrates and, and how to manage around them. One of the myths however that I think we ought to clear up today is about the time of day that these plants would be harvested having an impact on nitrate concentration. You see for years many people thought that if we cut this hay crop late in the afternoon or early evening hours that that would reduce the nitrate concentration that might be in any kind of stressed uh, forage sorghum plant. Research was done here at Oklahoma State University at, at five different locations where we took samples of plants at two hour intervals at those different five locations. We did it starting at 8 a.m. in the morning every two hours through 6 p.m. in the evening and then took those samples to the OSU laboratory to be tested for the nitrate concentration. What we found was tremendous differences in the nitrate concentration from the different farms that were tested but as far as the time of day, it had very, very little difference. If you look at this particular graph, you'll see lines for across the, the daytime, the amount of nitrate concentration from those five different farms. You'll see one that was very, very low, around 400 parts per million, one that averaged nearly 9,000 parts per million, which of course uh, could have some uh, dangerous areas as far as nitrate toxicity in it. You want to remember that uh, most laboratories consider 10,000 parts per million as potentially lethal for cattle. So I think we want to, uh, as we're harvesting this forage this year, number one, test it before we cut it because once we cut it that nitrate concentration is going to stay the same and we don't need to expect that that nitrate concentration is going to be lowered by the time of day at which we cut the plants. We hope this helps you as you harvest those kinds of forages this summer, and we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.